Asymptomatic bacteriuria. It's very, very, very important, please. First of all, what is asymptomatic bacteriuria mean? Well, it's mean patient has no symptoms at all. And when you make a general urine exam, you will see at least 100,000 colony of a specific bacteria, mostly E. coli. So there is infection, but there is no symptoms at all. That's called asymptomatic bacteriuria. Okay, for the treatment, the general rule for asymptomatic bacteriuria is no treatment. Well, please memorize this. No symptoms mean no treatment. Okay, no symptoms mean no treatment. Okay, the only exceptions for this rule is two conditions. The first one, which is very important, is pregnancy. And the second one will be vesicoureteric reflux. In these two conditions, treat the patient even if no symptoms at all. So treat asymptomatic bacteria in case of pregnancy and in case of vesicoureteric reflux. But the general rule is that no symptoms, no treatment. In case of a pregnancy, the treatment will be either nitrofurantone or cephalaxine, which is first generation cephalosporine. Okay, example for this, adult with asymptomatic bacteriuria, no treatment. Non-pregnant woman with asymptomatic bacteriuria, no treatment. Elderly with asymptomatic bacteria, no treatment. Diabetes mellitus, no treatment. Patient with renal transplant, no treatment. A spinal cord injury with asymptomatic bacteria, no treatment. Patient with catheter, no treatment. Child, no treatment. So the only exceptions is that either pregnancy or vesicoureteric reflux. Now let's talk about pyelonephritis in a pregnancy. The keyword for pyelonephritis will be high fever plus loin pain plus minus chills. So the most important thing is high fever. High fever with loin pain mean pyelonephritis. The complication for it in case of a pregnancy will be preterm labor. And the treatment will be IV, cefetriaxone and gentamicin. So that's all what you need to know about asymptomatic bacteria and pyelonephritis in a pregnancy for IMCMCQ exam. For full course, you can contact us through imcqbook at gmail.com. Thanks and goodbye.